Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about nutrient pollution. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you have a beautiful aquarium with clear water and colorful fish. Now think about what would happen if you accidentally added too much food to the aquarium. The water might become cloudy and the excess food could harm the fish. This concept is somewhat similar to nutrient pollution in our environment. Nutrient pollution occurs when there is an excess of nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus in our water systems. These nutrients are essential for the growth of plants and other living organisms. However, when there's too many of them, it can lead to problems. In nature, water bodies like rivers, lakes, and oceans have a natural balance of nutrients. But human activities such as farming, industrial processes, and wastewater discharge can introduce excessive amounts of nutrients into the water. Here's why this is a problem. Algae overgrowth. Nutrient-rich water can cause rapid growth of tiny plants called algae. While some algae are normal and important for the ecosystem, too much of it can lead to an overgrowth. Algal blooms. When there's an excess of nutrients, it can lead to what we call algal blooms. These are massive growths of algae on the water surface, forming thick green mats. Oxygen depletion. As the algae grows and eventually die, they sink to the bottom and decompose. This process consumes a lot of oxygen, leaving less oxygen for fish and other aquatic life. This lack of oxygen can harm or even kill these organisms. Fish kills. In extreme cases, the low oxygen levels caused by nutrient pollution can lead to fish kills. Harm to human health. Nutrient pollution can also impact human health. For example, some harmful algal blooms produce toxins that can contaminate drinking water and pose health risks to people and animals. Now here are fun facts about nutrient pollution. Lawns and nutrient pollution. Fertilizing lawns excessively contributes to nutrient pollution. However, a well-maintained lawn with proper mowing and minimal fertilizer use can actually absorb nutrients and prevent them from reaching water bodies. Dead Zones Nutrient pollution can lead to the formation of dead zones in water bodies, where oxygen levels are so low that most marine life cannot survive. Coffee as a source of nutrients Coffee grounds are rich in nutrients like nitrogen. While composting coffee grounds is a great way to recycle them, if disposed of improperly, they can contribute to nutrient pollution. Natural Nutrient Filters Wetlands acts as a natural nutrient filters, trapping and removing excess nutrients before they reach downstream water bodies. Protecting and restoring wetlands can contribute to nutrient pollution prevention. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about nutrient pollution today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.